why hello welcome back it's theodore here and thank you so much you guys for all the well wishes and stuff like that um last week um i have well i still have tmj but i'm i'm getting better i can talk now i can like chew on a lot of stuff now it's kind of crazy how it happened but yeah my jaw doesn't hurt that much anymore i only went to the chiropractor once by the way but he did an amazing job um yeah but yeah sometimes occasionally i would hear like like a crack or something it's like not like a crack it's like um i don't know like my muscle it would go er, like it would just make like a little noise but yeah i'm okay now today we are gonna be looking at this camera the lomo instant auto mat a lot of celebrities have this camera it's a pretty common camera it's by lomography um i got this for my birthday a couple months ago i did buy the battery for it uh, this is the battery for the, the the lens cap that is also um, a shutter shutter I forgot what it's called I'm losing my head my mind <laughs> but anyways yeah we're gonna be playing with this camera right here it has um, a 60 millimeter f f8 equivalent 35 millimeter lens currently have film in there from December that I put in. So yeah. Um I'm gonna turn it off. I put it in. It works. Located on top of the camera, these are the little LED lights, and currently I have six more exposures okay i gotta be careful with this lens cap to not like accidentally push these buttons because one of them says instant and the other one says time okay gotta be careful with that oh, i didn't show you guys the box you guys want to see the box i already did an unboxing for you guys a couple weeks ago okay you guys don't need to see it my cousin who got it for me um they got it for me and i filmed it so i will insert that clip now i'm testing this camera out okay okay ready one two jack look jackie one jack two, three. Mommy. Three. so that was the first time of me ever using that camera and that was really interesting um i don't really remember what went on but yeah it was fun oh my gosh it's coming up guys whoa there's like a line oh oh that's cool guys look at that that's so cool i'm gonna take a picture of it let's do this i don't know why i changed into a sweater because i thought it would be cold right but no it's so freaking hot today it's like 70 degrees on that mode right there. Okay, I don't know what these functions mean. Hold on, I have a auto shooting mode, bulb mode, okay. I'm gonna do it this way so then we get everything. I said it, I have the remote. Okay, there's a lot of cameras. There are people passing by, so hold on. There you go. I think you guys can see it better now. Yeah? I'm way too far for this guy. Is it even on? <laughs> and then take a picture! Okay, there's something wrong. It's not taking a picture. Okay, it's on. <laughs> it did it! <laughs> oh my god, that's such an ugly picture. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna take another one of just the place. Okay, 
Okay. Let's let go. Okay, so I've been driving aimlessly, and so I passed by this place, uh, this boba place that I've just never heard of. And we're gonna go by boba now just to see what it is. Let go. Let's try it. Mm. Not bad. Mm. The boba is soft. It's kind of tasteless though, but. Okay, I'm gonna do a double exposure right now. I'm gonna set it the lens to infinity. like I'm talking Oh my god. Oh! How many how many double exposure does this freaking thing have? Oh my god. It says multiple exposure, but I don't know. Dude, it keeps on taking pictures. Okay, um No, I don't I just want it to come out now. Okay, so in order for it to come out, you have to push the multiple, multiple exposure button. So it's not even double exposure. It's like, you, if you want 10 exposures, you can have 10 exposures. Hello everybody. So, um, the previous clips that you guys just watched is from last week before Sammy passed away. It's been a week and a half, well, not a week and a half. It's a week and one day since Sammy passed away. I'm doing a lot better. I made a whole video about it. I'm not going to talk about it in this video on my vlog channel, Eat the Door. So if you guys are interested in that, you guys can watch it on my vlog channel. But anyways, <clears throat> um, I wanted to continue on taking pictures with the Lomo Instant Auto Mat and here it is. So yeah, we're gonna continue taking pictures with that. I, I believe I only have three exposures left, and one of them I want to make it be um, a light painting picture because this has a bulb mode, and that is so freaking cool because I have never seen an Instax mini camera that has bulb mode. And if you guys know me, I love bulb mode, especially. If you're in dark settings and whatever, you just gotta set it in one place, blah, blah, blah. I've talked about it many, many, many times. So, yeah, I'm probably just gonna play around with the light painting tonight and see how that goes. So yeah, if you guys aren't gonna watch my other videos, I just wanna thank you guys so much for all the com comments regarding Sammy and uh, I really appreciate them. I read them multiple, multiple, multiple times and even though they made me cry, but in like a heartfelt way and it just made me feel a lot better. So I read them over and over again and knowing you guys care about me and knowing you guys are going through similar circumstances. And I really appreciate that you guys care about me. So thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart and Sammy's, thank you so much. And I know Sammy's looking down and thinking, not worried about me because he knows that I have good people in my life. Yeah, let's get going hi guys we are now filming this at midnight and sorry if i look a little rough but i just took a shower wore this hoodie on and yeah cool huh yep we're gonna do some light painting pictures with this camera and i switched it to bulb mode on here so yeah one thing i do want to mention is that i wonder why this thing doesn't have um, a tripod mount on the side because the camera's orientation is like this way 
It also says Lomo Instant Automat this way, so I wonder why it doesn't have like a tripod mount on the bottom of this. So yeah, kind of strange. It only has it like this tripod mount this way, which isn't bad, but I don't know, kind of funny. Take a look at it. Neat, huh? Oh, right, I need to set the timer. I don't need a timer because I have this guy. All right, I'm gonna turn my flash on. Flash on. <laughs> Guys, this remote is not working. Okay, this remote, this remote right here is not working. I'm just gonna push the button. Pushing the button. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, what just happened? I have no idea what just happened. Guys, look. A picture came out. Okay, I'm really confused. What? Did it did it do the bolt mode? I'm gonna try doing the multiple exposure, multiple exposure and bulb mode. So I'm gonna draw first and then turn off bulb mode and then, and then I'm gonna draw, like take a picture of myself or something. I hope this works. Ghetto setup. Okay, that was all part of the multiple exposure. But then it's still on bold mode and I have no idea. Okay. Okay, I pushed the multiple exposure so the picture would come out. Guys, what the heck is this picture? I'm dying, okay. I'm gonna do some serious multiple exposure stuff. Here's this. Oh my god, my picture turned out so weird. Okay. Okay, one exposure. freaking picture okay guys so the pictures didn't turn out the way I want it to look so I put more film in the camera so I could try doing that double exposure again or multiple exposure again because this thing is so freaking frustrating okay and this remote literally takes like 10 clicks before it'll take a picture. So yeah, I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> okay, I hope this works. Okay, I'm gonna let go. I'm such a loser. You think by by the time you're 25, you'd be able to do all this stuff, right? No, I'm pretty useless. Okay, let's do it again, guys. Let's do it again. I'm gonna put this hat on, because I'm the bad guy when I'm wearing that hat thingy, okay? One, two, three. <laughs> I'm gonna go again. Oh 
Oh my god, I'm dying, guys. This is so much work. Okay, one. Okay, that should work now. I'm gonna try that light painting again. Okay, next picture is a bulb mode picture without flash. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. I have no idea why it's not making me. It's not doing anything. Hi. I'm not creepy at all. button so I can't just let go so I have to be like out of the picture like this <laughs> I'm trying to draw a heart by the way okay I think I drew a heart I'm gonna put it back to auto mode because I'm taking one normal picture of Jack, but it's still gonna be on multiple exposures, so then Jack will overlap my heart, I guess. So here it is. Jack. And... Okay guys, I think I know how this light painting double or multiple exposure thing works. So I'm gonna retry again because my last one was okay. It's like I did it, but it wasn't that great. So I'm gonna try it again. If you wanna do bulb, sorry, creepy. If you wanna do bulb mode and double exposure or multiple exposure, you can't use this remote. You actually have to physically hold onto the shutter button. There's such an inconvenience, guys. Like, what is the purpose of this? If it only works sometimes. Okay guys, I'm gonna take a picture now. Um, not double it, or not bulb mode, obviously. It's just gonna be an auto mode and still with the multiple exposure because I want my face to overlap in this star multiple ex or light painting thing. Okay. Multiple exposure button. I know some of you guys are going to ask me about what about portrait mode? Like what does it look like in portrait mode? Okay, well, I'll show you. I switched it to from landscape mode to portrait mode and that is 0 0.6 meters. Okay, so, okay, I'm going to take a portrait picture of Uncle Jack again. I'm done. I'm done. Alright guys, we did it. Alrighty guys, we are at the end of the video now and it's time for me to tell you guys how I feel about this camera. So the camera that we tested is called the Lomo Instant Automat. This is the Playa Jardine model and it's all black. It's really chic and really cool. Um, there's even like two straps or two hole thingies to put your straps in and it also comes with this this lens cap remote so you can like push the button and like it'll take a picture for you i got it in december i think i haven't used it as often i think i only took like two or three pictures and um i haven't really like tested out until like this last week and this week and i have to say like <clears throat> everything's cool about this camera like there's multiple exposures there's bulb mode and there's like you can change the, um, the exposure of the film so you can make it overexposed or make it underexposed with the plus and minus sign on the side right here. Everything's really cool about that. It's just like, hi Jack. This remote thing just 
really sucks. It's, it's really bad. It's not that great. But I really wish there was a timer button on on the camera. Like, I, I wish I could just be able just to push a timer button on here because um, sometimes this thing just doesn't even work. So the first picture that I took with that wall, I was really far away from it and I thought, okay, like, okay, like, I don't know why, but I naively thought it would work by me pushing it, but I was really far away. So it didn't work and I was like, wait, like there should at least be like a timer button on here. So like if I do decide to take a picture really far away, I don't have to like struggle with pushing this button. I can just push the timer button and the flash or the shutter would just automatically go off after like 10 seconds. Well, it doesn't have that. So yeah, I was just stuck like, okay, okay, like I'm gonna take a picture. I, cl I kept clicking this like, five six times and it was like okay it's not gonna take a picture i should come closer and i ended up coming like pretty close i want to say like seven feet away from the this camera and I, then i was able to take a picture but what if i wanted to be really far away like i wanted to be far away from the camera you know i don't know that's just my thought. What I do like about this camera is that it has a bulb button and you guys know how I how much I love bulb settings and stuff like that because if you're taking a picture at night, you could put it on a tripod and just Oh yeah, one thing though about bulb mode is that you have to like hold on to this button, the shutter button. You have to you yourself, you have to hold on to this shutter button. Otherwise, like the shutter would just go click and it just close if you don't hold this button it will not do the bulb mode okay and I've tried doing it with the remote doesn't work it it'll it won't even do like one click or anything it'll it, it just won't do anything with the Lomo instant automat you can do light painting and then take a picture of like another subject so essentially like a double exposure So for me personally, when I think of multiple multiple exposure, when I thought of the word multiple exposure at least, I thought it was just another way of saying double exposure. But they legit mean multiple. Like you could have a bajillion exposures, and it'll keep on taking it until you push the motor uh, the multiple exposure button again, and then the film would come out. Like I was like, why is it still taking a picture? why is it like not why is the picture not coming out i already did two exposures already why is my film not coming out and then i was like um there, there's probably something wrong so i pushed the multiple exposure button and then the film came out like all the stuff you could actually read in the user manual but who reads the user manual you know like why also i do want to mention that picture with me and like no face Okay, that one's a really scary picture, but I want to tell you guys how I got that picture just in case you guys want to do that same picture. So what I did was I did a multiple exposure. Well, no, I did a bulb setting picture. So I thought I drew hearts or whatever. I thought I did. I didn't though. I did not do um, light painting. And then I thought, okay, well, if I did a heart in this picture, then that means that I could actually put my face in the heart. So I put my face like pretty close up into this camera and I was like, okay, I'm gonna take a selfie picture with a heart. No, it didn't work that way, but yeah, my face, because the flash was really bright, it like blurred out my face. So you could see like the frame of my face, like you could see like the most part of, of my head but you don't see like my facial features like my eyes or my nose or my mouth or anything like that which is pretty cool but it, it that picture is really creepy so yeah compact camera fairly light it's like not that big this is my hand this is the camera well uh, i don't know how to reference it but here here's a reference of how big they are side to side yeah of course, this one's a little bit heavier and this guy's a little bit lighter, but they have different film formats, so that's why. So yeah. Alrighty guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you guys did, please do give a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!
last week a, a day or two after Sammy passed away I got a new bed upstairs well I already got an, I already planned on getting a new bed and I already had a bed frame and everything but I moved my bed upstairs um it's a bigger bed and I moved my smaller bed down here now it's a guest bed and if my sister comes back to visit I can go come down here and sleep and I also changed a lot of things in this room my my cameras are over on this side now rather than that corner and all of my my albums are still there i might move them and then bts posters still over there and it's just um jungkook's bag is right there and like all my other pictures are, are hung up there i don't really think that's a good place but yeah and then i have all my cameras on this side and then my shoes on here yeah so yeah it's it's getting together but at first i was like i'm not really sure why i should like how i can film from this angle rather than this angle this is the angle that you guys normally see me at and you guys can probably tell like the lighting is a little more strange on this angle than this angle this is more direct because the window is right here but yeah yeah that's all i wanted to tell you guys i hope that you this was interesting and if you guys are going through a loss i hope you guys are doing well and you guys are healing well and yeah alrighty i will see you guys next time goodbye Thanks.